because the knowledge gets into the computer using data, we need lots and lots of data. The main problem is there are a lot of things that we know at some level, which is at an intuitive level, but that we can't program a computer with. That is based on the brain. Uh, the ability to actually allow computers to learn themselves those things that we can't tell them directly, that we can't program directly to do. So we're going to give them, for example, a lot of images of cats. And we're going to tell them these are cats. Initially, it's going to be very bad answers. But as it corrects itself, one example at a time, it's going to get better at it. And this is how eventually it's going to learn how to recognize airplanes, birds, cats, and so on, which we call generalization. How do humans learn? We live through each moment, one after the other. Uh, we have to let go and, and sort of just take a little bit of information, a little bit of data at a time, and, and make a change that may not be exactly right. AI is powerful, and it's become more powerful and will become even more powerful in the future. And normally we build tools because we need them want them, we can use them for something that we care about. My name is Yash.